Hi, I'm AJ with AJ Mobile Money. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not currently a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Go ahead and click that like button because you're gonna like the video. And also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I make a video. Now, the number one way to spend your tax refund is to actually spend it throughout the year. Don't get a refund. That's the number one way to spend your refund. Avoid the refund and spend it throughout the year. So, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, when you're getting a tax refund, that means that throughout the year, every time you got paid, you paid more in taxes than you needed to, and that amount accumulated, the government held on to it, and now they're saying, oh, you know, we really appreciate you paying more taxes than you should have paid. Uh, here's the refund for the amount over that you paid. Here you go you loaned it to us, the government, you gave the government and 0% interest loan. So any money that you spend over in the amount of taxes that you paid, you're not gonna make any interest off of that money. Now, if you were to go to a bank right now and you needed to get a loan, there are very rare circumstances where you're gonna get an interest-free loan. And even if you were to get one, it's not gonna be through the life of that loan. Now, if they give you a five, year loan, maybe they're like, okay, the first year, we're gonna give you zero interest. Now they have the expectation that it's gonna, one, it's gonna take you five years or whatever the period is that they give you, the, tot the total period that they give you to pay off the loan. They expect you to not pay off that loan within that first year. That's the same way that credit cards do. They get you to open a card, they give you that zero interest for a year, or you know they try to get you to do a balance transfer. And their expectation is that you're not gonna pay off what you owe, that you're not gonna pay off that debt within the time period that you actually have that zero interest. But what you're doing when you pay additional taxes is you're giving the government a loan and you're telling them, it's okay, you can hold on to this money until the end of the year. And then, you know, once I file my taxes, you know, you can give me that money back that I overpaid you. And don't worry about any interest. You know, this is a interest-free loan that I'm giving to you guys. Really appreciate you holding on to that for me. So instead of doing that, what you can do is you can go to the IRS website and they actually, they try to help you not overpay taxes. If you go to their website, they have an option for a W-4 calculator. And what that calculator does is is try to help you figure out how much taxes you will eventually owe at the end of the year in totality. That way you can choose what your withholding is. So it ranges from tax exempt where you're not paying any taxes to zero where you're paying the most taxes that you can pay or the most default taxes that you would pay up to seven where it's like the least amount of taxes you would pay each paycheck. So with each withholding, usually that's based on how many people are in your family. Uh, if you're married, you know, usually your withholding is two because you have two people in your family. If you have kids, you wanna add each of those kids as one of the withholdings and they'll do their best to try to calculate what's the best withholding for you based on your income, based on, based on how often you get paid, if you get paid weekly, bi-weekly, bi-monthly or monthly. So it's a really great tool for you to use to try to figure out a way to get your, the amount of refund that you're gonna get as close to zero as possible. Now, personally, I'd rather pay a little bit in tax than to receive a small refund back. And here's why. The reason why is that you can either give, using $1,000 as an example, you can give the government $1,000 throughout the course of the year and they're gonna give it back to you. This is in addition to whatever the taxes you actually owe. So you're giving them $1,000 more than you need to and at the end of the year they say, oh, here's $1,000 extra that you gave us. Here's that money back in a lump sum. We really appreciate it. Or throughout the year, you can change your withholdings. That way you're getting more money in each paycheck and that little bit of extra money that you're getting, you can use it for the fifth reason, the fourth reason, third reason, the second reason that we just mentioned of ways that you can use that lump sum. You can actually use that throughout the entire year. And when you're paying off credit, that's actually lowering the amount of interest that you're gonna pay throughout that year because you have more money to put towards your debts. You have more money to put towards your side hustle. You have more money to put towards your savings. And one of the reasons people are afraid to change this withholding, they're really afraid of having to owe taxes at the end of the year. So for those people, if you're afraid that you might owe taxes if you make any changes to your withholding, 
what I want you to do is once you make that change in your withholding, pay attention to how much you normally get paid, you know, each pay period and what the difference is once you actually change that withholding. So if that difference was hundred dollars, you're going to take that extra hundred dollars that you're getting each paycheck and you're actually going to put it into a savings account. So some of the best interest rate savings accounts out there are around a little bit over 2%. So if you're putting that hundred dollars in each month, you're actually getting uh, $2 extra in interest for putting that hundred dollars in savings. You have about, you know, the thousand dollars that your tax refund would have been, or maybe it was 2000 or $5,000. And now you're getting that money throughout the year is making money in interest and a high rate savings account. And so at, at the end of the year, you have all of that money in your savings and then you do your tax refund. And let's say, oh man, you know, I, I messed up. I, you know, put my withholdings too high. And now instead of having a thousand dollar refund, now I owe a thousand dollars, but wait, you have a thousand dollars in your savings account that has been growing with interest. You can now use that money to pay whatever it is that you would have owed in taxes. So that's for the people that are afraid that they're going to end up owing money, put the money, the amount of money that changes based on your withholding change, just put that money in a savings account and then you'll be prepared when tax time comes around in case you do actually owe some money. Now, what I would recommend doing is actually using that money to pay off debt. So if you're paying off debt throughout the year, the average interest rate of a credit card is well over 20%. So we use 24%, which is normal for a credit card. And for each month that you're paying interest, if you break it down monthly, it's about 2% interest per month. Now, if you were to owe taxes and you didn't, you know, you didn't use that extra money to put it towards savings accounts, so you can save it to pay your taxes. And let's say, okay, now I owe the government a thousand dollars. The amount of interest that they're going to charge you per month is 0.25%, which works out to a 3% yearly interest rate. Now that 3% is less than the average credit card. It's less than the average uh, loan that you may get from the bank for a personal loan. It's much better to owe the government that approximately 3%. And you know, it may change throughout the year, but it's way lower than a personal loan from a bank and any credit card uh, interest that you're gonna get out there. So I'd rather owe a thousand dollars to the government at the end of the year than to not have emergency money and have to use my credit card or have to get a personal loan because I didn't change my withholding so I could get that money throughout the entire year. So I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Uh, thanks for subscribing if you're a parent subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Go ahead and click that like button if you like this video and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.